Right now, we'll head over to the streets of uh, Lagos, where Ademola Lawrence is standing by to take us through what's on the dailies today. Over to you, Demola. Okay, uh, welcome to all the uh, newspaper review, where we'll bring you all the stories, of course, happening in the world uh, of uh, uh, the things happening around Nigeria. To start with, there is Daily Trust, Tinubu Wiki, London meeting Ratus PDP and Atiku. That is what he's saying. And of course, if you look at what Vanguard is also saying, 2023, Tinubu meets Wiki, uh, two PDP governors in London. Uh, that is what uh, Vanguard is also saying. And you have prosecute high profile sponsors of electoral offenses. That is, of course, coming from INEC. And uh, on Daily Sun, ballot snatches, vote buyers risk to uh, 20, 15 years jail terms. And that is, of, of course, coming from INEC. And then um, lastly, on, uh, on um, t uh, Punch, Tinumbu weekend meeting uh, in UK, PDP talks wobble. Uh, that is what Punch is saying. So, but I have uh, the newspaper uh, readers here, they are, of course, going to be giving me their own perspective of what is actually interesting them in today's stories. First, let me start with him. So tell me, what is interesting you in today's stories? Good morning, Nigerians. I don't think there's anything interesting so far. I can say, I, I, honestly, we are, we are, anyone that says we are enjoying the country, the situation so far, the person is lying. The major things we are facing here is poverty, high cost of living, then insecurity. It has been a national anthem that we Nigerians have been saying and saying every now and then. Thank God the population of those that are registered their PVC, they are much. Let them go and vote for a leader of their choice that can deliver this country of, of, out of this mess. This security, every now and then insecurity. The federal government should also look at the way of re-strategizing. There are a lot of technology how they can combat the crimes. Mounting surveillance cameras everywhere here and there, I think it's also a way forward. There are IT guys there who are willing to work with them. So they know it. In security, there are villages where you can enter and go and combat. There are bad elements there. You can, should go there. Let's start from there. Then high cost of living. You can believe that a bag of rice is higher than a lot of people's salary here. So I mean, it's an ISO. They, we are not enjoying it. As we have been on strike almost a year, nothing has been done. So in summary, the government should work on insecurity, unemployment, and we need a leader that can manage poverty. Thank you. Of course, ASCO has been on strike for uh, almost uh, more than six months. Uh, but I'm still going to be talking to another person. So what, what's interesting for you and the newspaper today? Concerning what? Which Any paper story now? Story. Okay, story. Um, let me go to some. Which one interests you? Uh, say ballot snatchers or IPOB. Let me just put one, say one or two things there. Ballot snatchers and vote buyers risk 25 years jail time. Now, this has been happening for a long time concerning these uh, ballot snatchers and the vote buyers. It did not happen today, it did not start from today. It's uh, something that has been happening for a long time. But how do we stop it? If we really want to make this country to move forward, as everybody now is glamouring for it, we have to pull her together, fight over ballot snatchers and vote buyers. So understand me? Like now, what happened in Oshun State? I'm not there, but according to what happened there, there is an element of uh, truth that is moving forward about political issue in this issue. Let us move forward and amend some, a lot of things concerning the Palestine so that the, if you are called to represent your ward or your state or your local government, then you did the work according to the way people expected you to do it. So understand me, a lot of people now believe that that day my hope and my aim is to snatch ballot uh, papers and vote buyers. People believe with the money. Look at what happened recently concerning Tunumba and the uh, article. In the article issue, we are supposed to be there. 
But it happened that because I have money more than you, they use money to overrule the issue. Come to uh, Tulumbu. This one is dealing with Naira. The other one is dealing with the dollars. You see what happened there? They, those are the things, the problem we are facing in Nigeria today. Everybody believe without you I can do this. And they don't want to do the thing the right way they're supposed to do to move the country forward. So everybody believe with the power and money I can do better than you. Okay. You understand? Do, 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 of course, those are allegations that are yet of course, to be are found. Uh, so uh, there are still a of rumors whether money, of course, instance. But I'm still going to be talking to some other uh, persons uh, come to tell me what exactly is interesting to say you. something. Good morning, fellow Nigerians. I want to say something over this movement of uh, Atiku and uh, Wiki. The way I see the movement of the Wiki, I think Wiki is doing antipathy for the movement of Wiki because the problem that Wiki is pushing, the letter, if the Wiki is not be careful, the end of the day, Nigeria will blame the Wiki since he's moving in the PDP. So if we are in the if we are in the holding the party sinks, as people, according to the people say, and according to people witness, for the way you are moving in the party, keep on moving it. If you are doing the right thing, one day you gain your right thing. But when you are doing the bad thing, one day you gain your bad thing. But because of that, the only thing that I'm concerned about is God should show us the right person. Thank you very much. Of course, I, like I said, everybody want a good governance for Nigeria. So whatever you see Nigerians at the newspaper stand, they are discussing the way forward. No, and like the, the government also need to, need to listen to them. You want to also talk yes, to them? Yes, yes. Yeah, Tell good me. Morning. Good morning, Nigeria. Uh, the one thing I want to say is that I'm not after of uh, whether PDP or whosoever, any party that win. What we are after that the people that the next government that can can uh, uh, can uh, organize this country. When you look around, that uh, people are suffering. It's not not the matter of interview uh, matter is no, not the problem. But let government our leaders use weapons and do the normal thing, the right thing. Insecurity of a team is the song of the day, and which is very bad. It's not how it's supposed to be in this country. And our country, we are a blessed country, a blessed Nigeria. Let us not use our hand and destroy our country. Because when this is moving fine, and look, uh, use that unemployment is much in our country. Poverty is the almost the end of the day. And uh, what we say, let us re re use our brain and do the right thing at the right time. Thank you. All right, thank you very much. Okay. So, I, I, of course, it's been an interesting one here at the newspaper stand. And the people have actually voiced out their opinions that they all want a better government. And they want, want a better leadership to come into power income in 2023. So it's back to you, Veronica and Kelly. Hmm. Thank you, Demola, for bringing us up to speed there. You could feel the pause of the people there. Absolutely. What they want is a better governance, yeah, better leadership. PDP. They are not into in what they are not interested in into LP. party lines. Whatever it is, what they want is security. They mm. can put food on their table. What Nigerians are actually demanding is not much. Yeah. They just want to live life on the daily, stay alive. They can go out uh, safely, mm -hmm. stay in their homes safely. They have light, they have water, they have food on their table, and they are fine. And they can Nothing do much. An, an, an environment that allows them to thrive, where yes. they can do businesses. Um, I, I, I mean, it, it's sad because when, for, for, especially when you speak to some persons who have been around for quite some time and they describe the Nigeria they met, the Nigeria that gained independence and had so much potential, mm. uh, that had, oh, when so, much, so much positive projections of, oh, in the, the next 10, intense. 20 years, countries look, wanted compete, to, they wanted compete. to be our allies. I, I mean, so many countries wanted to be our allies. So, they just wanted to work with Nigeria. Mm. But that story over the years have changed have drastically. Changed drastically. And then you, people begin to ask the question, what then is mm. the benefit of the democracy that we now begin, mm. began, began to embrace? You know, what then is the benefit of everything that we have come? We thought that over the years, every leader that come will do mm. something different, will improve 
or mm. what they meant. But government that was meant to be a country now is not what it is as it's we not, speak. Uh, it's, it's not. We begin to see so many issues. We see religious lines now brought in. You know, people are just... The, 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 the conversation has mm. gone beyond what it is. The uh, fabric absolutely. of our society has gone... Is, is, is so torn as we speak. And we need to bring it together. We need to unite because Nigeria is our Nigeria. It does not... It's a country. It's, it's not about where you come from. It's not about your religion. It's not about what party you belong. It's mm. about we being one Nigeria, mm. and that is what it is. I, I mean, uh, in the words of uh, Wole Shoinka, I think just two days ago, I granted an interview, one of the platforms, uh, where he said, look, in a normal environment, a society, people should not even mention anything that has to do with religion. Absolutely. Or, or which village you come from to take positions. I mean... In, in, in the U.S., for instance, nobody cares where uh, President Joe Biden comes from or what religion or what faith he practices or he believes in. They believe that, oh, let's make America a better country. That's and, it. And, and that's what it should be. So, I, I mean... It should be we, Nigeria first. We, it should be Nigeria first. So, I hope that, I hope that in, indeed, things can get better. Um, earlier on, we discussed the loot um, that was, was returned uh, or is about to, you know, repatriated, uh, uh, repatriated you know, to the country. And I was just asking myself, what if it was Nigeria these funds were uh, being uh, uh, from from other countries, for instance, and they looted to looted to Nigeria? Do we have the integrity to return such Money. funds or monies mm. back to such countries? I mean, I think there are lessons for us. <laughs> there are big lessons for us indeed.